This is the Pukwasi Interchange, the largest interchange in West Africa and this interchange has brought about two major problems and in this video we're going to discuss the problems, how you can avoid them and the lessons we can learn coming up next. Alright, so the very first challenge that this interchange has brought to people is the cost of buying land in and around Pukwasi. Now to explain, we need to take a step back to a few years. So let's go back to the year 2021, specifically July 2021 when the Pukwasi Interchange was launched. Now the reason why the Pokwasi interchange was launched was that it was one to reduce the traffic on that stretch of road because formerly the traffic was crazy. Two, to open the area and provide access to a lot of communities. So the Pokwasi interchange connects Amasaman, Achimota, Awoshi, Kwabenya, etc. So it's a very important interchange located kind of like in the heart of Accra right now, creating a bustling business community. Now in 2019, a plot of land was selling for about 20,000 to 30,000 Ghana CDs at Pokwasi. But today, guess what? A plot of land is selling for average minimum of about 200,000 Ghana CDs within that same area. This is just like three to four years change. Even some people are selling their land prices almost at 500,000 Ghana CDs, depending on how close it is to the road. So what lessons can we learn? One, before you purchase any land, you need to find out, do some research and find out what is the plan of government and big corporations for this particular area. Let me explain. So if the government has plans to create like a major interchange in that area, for example, the Pokwasi interchange, as you are seeing on your screens, then it means that the place is going to appreciate in value pretty quickly once the interchange is completed and launched. Because the interchange is going to bring about a lot of businesses. Businesses are going to settle around it. There are going to be banks, there are going to be malls, there are going to be hospitals, there are going to be educational institutions because once the place is opening up, more people will come and live there. And so they will need access to all these facilities. And so you need to find out. You can just do a quick search, right? Plans of government for this area on Google and see what you get. Because I have a document which I cited all the way from January 2009, which was put together by the Africa Development Bank on the the plans for Pokwasi and Awoshi areas, right? So imagine you were going to buy the land in 2018. You would do your research, this document will come up and it will help you to know that, wow, there's going to be an interchange here. Then let me buy a plot of land, but you wouldn't even buy just one plot. Buy like four or 10 plots because it's the best investment you can make. You can also set to see if there are going to be universities, airports, major banks, hospitals, malls within that area because once those things come, they greatly cause the price of the land to increase in value. So you need to do your research and find out what's the future value of the land, not just the present value. Because when you're looking at it presently, I'm sure if you are looking at purchasing land in Pokwasi like 2010, 2011, it was just bushes. It wasn't something that a lot of people would be excited to want to live in such a far away area from the airport. But look at Pokwasi today. Incredible. Next, let's look at the second major issue that the Pokwasi interchange has brought to people living in and around Pokwasi. So in a PDF document that I read, which I already mentioned, that was written by the Africa Development Bank in January 2009. The Pokwasi interchange was going to result in the demolition of 1,019 homes and businesses. That's just crazy. 1,019 homes and businesses. That's over a thousand families, right? And if an average family size is like maybe five to ten, that's between five thousand to 10,000, you know, people who are going to be greatly affected and not even considering their extended families, etc. right? If it's a business, it could even have 20 employees, 100 employees. So the numbers involved are huge. 1,019 properties were going to be demolished. And of course, compensation would be given. But for you to enjoy the compensation, you would need to provide your proof of permit, right? So your building permit that you, you got before you started the building. And the challenge in Ghana is that most people in Ghana build without a building permit, right? So this is also something that we can learn that when you are building, always try and work on your building permit. Even if you start a building project, try and work on your building permit. Really, really, really important so that you don't suffer some of these things because those who were able to produce their building permit were given the compensation. Those who were not, were not given the compensation. Now let's look at the next challenge that this major interchange brought about as a result of the demolition and everything. The next challenge is that persons who live, work and use that road would suffer great discomfort 
discomfort and health risks due to dust pollution and disposal of waste now right now they are trying to even expand the pokwase waste right i did a separate video on it demolishing additional houses right and the dust the dust the dust is crazy so imagine your house is by the roadside or you live in the area it's going to have a lot of dust pollution and if you're asthmatic etc you're going to suffer a lot the next issue that the pokwase interchange brought about was that some people would have their road access locked because if you work at let's say the central business district of accra and you live around pokwase the only way you could get to the central business district was through the pokwase highway which leads to achimota right or else you'd have to find some back road through the eastern region to come all the way back to accra it doesn't make sense so for people who are living there their businesses are going to be affected their daily commute is going to be affected and so that's another reason why you need to do your research before you buy the land so that you can avoid some of these things the next major issue that most people living in and around pokwase suffered was the disruption of utility services was a lot of the pipes water pipes were broken electricity some people lost electricity for a, a period you know and that affects businesses as well so you need to consider all these things now what can you do and what are the lessons we can learn from this to avoid finding ourselves in similar situations i've already spoken about the fact that you need to do your research well but you also need to calculate the risk involved right imagine you established a business which was thriving due to the location right you had maybe a huge restaurant or a hotel right which was thriving at pokwase then the government comes and says hey we are building an interchange your hotel is by the roadside your restaurant is by the roadside we are going to compensate you the value of the property when our valuers come right even if they give you money which meets today's standard for that same hotel will your customers be willing to follow you wherever you are going because you are now going to start a new hotel or restaurant or other business in another location so you are possibly going to lose out on a lot of customers your profits your revenue everything so you need to consider that if you are going to build you know businesses within areas demarcated for government projects very very important the final tip i have for you is that you also need to ensure that you have your building permit before you start or even when when you are building because at any point in time the government can come and say they've even discovered oil on your land or gold on your land and they want to use it for mining purposes if you don't have your permits you could even land in jail or something right who gave you the permission to build or just demolish your structures so ensure you have your permit and if you found this video helpful click on this video where i speak about the current demolition process ongoing and how you can avoid it and the lessons learned as well thanks baby